Cricut Design Space is the software that controls your Cricut machine, so it's important you choose a device that both supports this software and delivers optimal performance. Cricut Design Space can be used on a Windows or Mac computer, as well as an iOS device like an iPad, iPhone, and Android device. Your device needs to support the minimum requirements for Cricut Design Space. System requirements will vary from time to time as new releases are available, so be sure to check the latest version on the Cricut website. I'll pop a link to the system requirements in the description below. The system specifications of any new device you're buying should be contained in the website description. Cross-check each of these against the Cricut Design Space specifications. I recommend picking a device that's above these specifications so your device doesn't become out of date with newer versions of Design Space. When working with more complex designs, a faster processor and more memory will make the process smoother and more efficient. There are some key functional differences between the computer and mobile versions of Cricut Design Space. iOS devices like iPads and Apple phones do not currently have pattern fills, which allows you to set patterns on your projects templates to visualize how a project will look once complete, curved text where you can bend the text into a curved shape, the knife blade cutting function which is used to cut wood and other thicker materials using the Maker and Maker 3 machines, offset which allows you to place a shadow around your text or design, and project collections which is the ability to group your saved projects into collections iOS devices have an exclusive snap mat function which is not available on any other device. It allows you to take a picture of your cutting mat to visualize images and text placement. This is helpful for utilizing vinyl scraps, but the feature is a little bit fickle and doesn't work for all users. Android devices have the biggest limitations of all device types. They are missing all of the same features as the iPad version Plus, you can't use print and cut. You also won't have access to Cricut Community, which is a whole database of Cricut projects made by other users. The computer version of Design Space for both Windows and Mac are the most versatile, with every function available. While Chromebooks are appealing for their cheap price point, they are not compatible with Cricut Design Space. Some Chromebooks will allow you to use a mobile version of Design Space but this has a limited screen size and does not contain all of the features of the full Windows version. The size and resolution of your device's screen can have a big impact on your ability to work efficiently and accurately in Cricut Design Space. A larger screen with a higher resolution will allow you to see more details and work with greater precision. Many users find it difficult to create projects and operate Cricut Design Space on an Apple or Android phone because of the smaller screen size. You'll notice here that the area to design in and all of the tools are more condensed. There are lots of device accessories that make using Cricut Design Space even easier. On my computer, I can type out words quickly and easily using a keyboard and click and drag with my mouse. On the mobile version of Design Space, you're relying on your finger and on-screen keyboard, which can be cumbersome to work with. Using your iPad with a pencil is certainly appealing, but Cricut Design Space itself doesn't have a free draw function, so this would only be helpful in other design programs like Procreate. So what's my final verdict? I mainly use my Windows 11 laptop to both design and cut in Cricut Design Space. I use my iPad when I want to design SVG files because I like the greater control using the Apple Pencil. I also like the portability of the iPad and the fact that I can draw things while I'm sitting watching TV. 
It's really all about what you intend to do with your cricket. It's also important to consider the types of functions you want to perform with your cricket. As I've mentioned before, there are limitations. The main thing is choosing a device that meets or exceeds the minimum system requirements that Design Space needs to run so the program is faster and easier to use. I hope this guide has been helpful. Leave me a comment below to share the device that you use most.